In that room, they started torturing me. They were really wild about this is gay man, that you have to beat him or hit him. And I was thinking that I'm gonna die. In my country, childhood was not easy. Being also gay was not easy. In Chechnya, if you're gay, it's not really acceptable. You mostly hide your true authentic self, which is the most beautiful. When I was watching these clips of Lady Gaga, Born This Way, I was believing that if this is happening somewhere, that beauty or that freedom, you more believe that this is possible for you. My dreams was to be like Lady Gaga, to walk on the red carpet <laughs> wearing something, I don't know, but beautiful. <laughs> yeah, my dreams was like this. In my country was two wars. And I remember like as a child, I lost my home. And my mom was living in the shelters and I wanted to be always someone who gonna help her. And I did, I became successful hairdresser. I was happy. My dreams was I'm gonna be in love with someone, then I'm gonna be have kids, family, my house. And each time I was meeting the guy, I always was thinking like, this is my life forever. <laughs> and now it's so naive. <laughs> Been drawing little circles on the map. Sick of being treated like an itty bitty rug rat. When I meet you, it's been so special. Yeah, 10 years ago. You tried to move me out from Chechnya? Yes, twice. But you know, I had family, I have a good job. I was probably was a child more. I was just, you know, successful, but never probably seen real mad world. That day, I was working long day, and I just saw these three men coming in. And I could hear how they were asking my name. They put me back of the car, and we just started driving. They were really wild. They started torturing me. 10, 15 minutes, then 30 minutes, then 40 minutes going on. All I hear, this is gay man, you're gonna die, I'm gonna kill you. This gun, that gun, this plastic pipe, that feet, that feet. They wanted, they started using this black box. It makes talk, it's an electroshock, you know. And they put these things on your fingers, your hands in the fire, your head in the fire. And they were using water to make you more wet. They were hearing and beating and torturing with this electroshock almost every day. And all they wanted with some small paper and like pencil, just name. I was screaming names, what could I do? I just said names, but it was not real people. <laughs> and I know that I'm still healing and the people who have been there, they also still healing. After those two weeks, they decided like to call members of our families and make them ashamed about it. Like we did torture your kids, you know, but we did not kill your kids. Then take them and figure out their like, do you want to live this shame or not? Like, you know, we are nothing. Um, they just made something with me and left something which is healing and transforming to something more probably beautiful, which is, was not realized and recognized in me by myself. I wanted to ask you about the alleged roundup abduction and, and torture of, of gay men in the Republic. Это ерунда. У нас таких людей нету. Нету у нас геев. 
И если есть заберите в Канаду, хвала Аллаху, подальше от нас, чтобы очистили кровь, там, если есть таких, пусть забирают. Там. Это придумали, они шайтаны, они подажные, они не люди. You are the president, like you, you should, should be supporting all your country and all the people who live there. But it's, he calling me and other people, shaitan. Yeah. I'm just simple guy. Just regular simple guy. And there is no evil in me. <laughs> I decided to live in that jail, in that room. I said if I'm gonna get out, I will run far, far away. First things I did, it was call to my friend, this Khan, who was out of Chechnya. Well, I met Amin in 2017 in the midst of the Chechen crisis where gay and bisexual men, but also lesbians and trans folks were victims of state-sponsored violence. The Rainbow Railroad seeks to help refugees from countries of persecution to any country that we deem safe. We will work with every government um, that is willing to accept LGBTQI refugees. The United States will not be a refugee holding facility, won't be. You look at what's happening in Europe, you look at what's happening in other places, we can't allow that to happen to the United States, not on my watch. They could be murderers and thieves and so much else. So we want a safe country. The indifference that we're seeing from the federal government is staggering. People are dying in other parts of the world. They're not being respected for who they are, and they're seeking refuge in the United States. Our immigration policies should be more humane, and the Trump administration is turning his back on people that need help. They need help from us as immigrants, but more importantly, they need help from us as human beings. I feel so good in Canada, actually. Looking good and feeling fine. Yeah. Looking good and feeling fine. I believe my dreams got me somehow, but through this hard process to this freedom, I believe everything's gonna change. If you believe, why not to something good? And drawing little circles on the map. Sick of being treated like an itty bitty rug rat. I gotta get out this town going crazy. Lost in translation, but soon